three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Wolfie here. We are back now. First of all, with the first thing you can do on this video, is hit that like and the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed. I will love you guys forever. Now, first of all, I just want to say, as always. A huge shout out for the continued support that you guys are showing on my YouTube channel at the moment. Honestly, it's really blowing me away just how much support you guys are showing me. So seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I want to say a huge thank you. Now in today's video, we have got a bit of, well, not a bit. We've got the probably the most in-depth tutorial that I've ever given. And hopefully that you guys will have seen in a while. So much effort has gone into this video, you guys have got no idea. Now, it is a complete defending tutorial. So, in the first part, I'm going to show you the best custom tactics and formation to see out a lead. And in the second part, I'm going to show you gameplay highlights. And a little bit is frozen down with a lot of arrows and stuff and me explaining how to defend certain situations. Now, first of all, you're going to want to go on ultra defense. Well, it doesn't really matter. But this is my defensive formation that I use if you want to see out a game for the last five minutes as such. Drop back for death. I'm not going to go into too much detail on this because... You guys will know what drop back, low depth, and long ball will do. So the long ball is to get your players on the counter attack really quick. They will make like a lot of runs in behind. Excuse me. So you want drop back, four depth, two width. Long ball tactic on. You want five width, three players in the box, one corners and one free kicks. The formation that you want to use is 4-2-3-1 number two variant. So the one with the left and right mid. Not 4-2-3-1, which I normally use with the three cams. You want 4 2 3 one, 2 with the left and right mid because it's more solid. And the instructions you want are on your striker, you want getting behind and come back on defence. You want come back on defence and get into the box for cross on the, on the uh, middle cam. For the left mid and the right mid, you want come back on defence, get in behind and get into the box for cross. Get into the box for crosses so they make more runs forward when you're trying to hit them on the counter attack. Because even though you're going to be camped in your half, because of the long ball tactic, you will actually counter attack very quickly. So get into the box for cross on your left and right mid is a very useful tactic. As always, cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking and cover centre on both your CDMs. Stay back while attacking and overlap on both fullbacks. Now I told you the... Um, Custom tactics part is going to be very brief because that it's there, it's there on your screen. They're the custom tactics I use to see out a lead. In my opinion, they're the best custom tactics I use. I don't use them often in the weekend league because I don't mean to blow my trumpet, but not many people I play against. I need to play that negative style against. But if you want to play that negative style, that's the custom tactics to use. And now I'm going to show you guys the gameplay analysis. So three, two, one. You'll see just a little bit of a ship, a little bit of a swap. Bish, bash, bosh, here you go. Now, in this little tutorial that I'm going to give you, it's going to be a lot of detail. So, as if you guys can just listen to as much as what I'm telling you and just watch on the screen what's happening, you guys will understand what is what I'm trying to explain a lot better than me just explaining it. There'll be a few arrows and stuff like that. Now, the first little clip that I'm going to get into as we get into it is the big thing with defending is you need to be mentally like okay. You know, you don't if you're triggered. Or if you're angry, you're not going to play well in the defensive side of FIFA. So please have a clear head when you're trying to defend. Especially if you're trying to see out a lead. That's the big thing. Now the first tip I give is identifying the threat. The threat here is his charisma in right mid. So because of that, I'm going to manually track and cover that pass with my left back, Ricardo Pereira. His threat is also in the mid. I think it's Ben Yedder there that's highlighted. But AI Hullet and AI Van Dijk. It's irrelevant. And the green circles, they mean no threat. So he can pass backwards all he wants because he's not going anywhere. You know what I mean? So he can pass backwards as much as he want. Those players there, he's... I don't know who they are, but he's centre back and he's centre mid. They're not the threat in this clip. You know what I'm saying? So you see here, I manually track the passing lane with Ricardo Pereira. And then I get really aggressive. So here I'm really zoomed in. You're going to see a little bit of my other face cam from the highlight clip. But here... I'm holding L2 to jock or LT on Xbox to jockey with Virgil van Dijk because I don't want to overcommit, but I want to bait him with that pass, okay? So I'm manually jockeying. Holding L2 or LT to jockey is a big thing. So you're not overcommitting, if that makes any sort of sense. So you see how when he makes the pass, I'm able just to intercept it perfectly, and that's what you want to be doing. Now here, there's a lot going on, okay? Now this is like real-life football here. When he's running down the line, you want him... You see how here he's running down the line with Ben Yedder? You see how he plays the ball into Ben Yedder here. He's running down the line. You, I'm manually covering, marking the goal line threat, if that makes sense. So he can run down the line all he wants. Because, like I said, it, nothing's going on if he runs down the line. Look, he's running down the line. He can do that all day long, man. He can do that all day long. He's not going to get anywhere by running down the line. So I manually track it. You see how aggressive I am with my CDMs. And then you want a quick 
flick your right analog stick towards Virgil van Dijk in that situation or towards your centre back in that situation instead of LB. The right analog stick switching is a lot more effective than LB switching. And also you can sprint jockey. If you guys have seen my controller and camera settings, you guys will know all about sprint jockeying in terms of having manual jockey on your controller settings. It means you can hold down jockey and sprint at the same time. And also the game will fuck you over, but as long as you stay composed, as long as that is happening, like there, I won the ball back, but of course he gets the balance. I'm manually tracking goal side, like real life football there. I know that he's always going to try and turn towards the goal, so manually track that with Neymar and you're on to a winner. Now, this, a lot happens, so we're going to show it again. Look, he's manually running down the line. Flick your right stick to Van Dijk. Bang. He's not going anywhere. Stay composed. I'm going to win the ball back. Stay composed. Look, I win the ball with Fulit. Game fucks me over. Stay composed. It's all right. We're all right. Manually track him. See that turn? He's always going that way. He's always going that way. Now, here, in terms of using your centre-backs, I'm controlling Virgil Van Dijk because the way I defend, I always like to control the center, or not the center back, but the defender or just the player in general that's closest to the ball. So, for example, his Ben Yedder has got the ball. My Van Dyke is closest to the ball. I, I want to be controlling Van Dyke. I feel in more control. I like to try and get into my opponent's head in terms of what would I do in that situation. And that's how I mainly defend. Now here, you're going to see... Rio is covering St. Maximum. You don't want to be touching Rio because the AI on this game will do a lot for you. So watch here, look. He's going to pass the ball to Gucci Gang. I call him Gucci because I can't pronounce his name because he used to wear a Gucci headband. And you're going to rush in with Rio. Bang. Manually switch to Rio with the right analog stick. Bang. Get straight on his first touch straight away. You see how I defend is very aggressive. Look, I want to put pressure on. Look, put pressure on. Just sprint him. Just sprint him. Just sprint at him with N'Golo Kante. Go, because uh, from this situation here where he is on the pitch, he's not going to score from this. So just sprint at him. Make him feel under pressure because when you feel under pressure, you'll make mistakes. So my opponent here, just watch what he does. He makes a mistake because I'm so aggressive with my N'Golo Kante. So the, my biggest tip to defend here is be so aggressive. Look, he EFs up completely because how aggressive I am with my Kante. Here again, look. Press high at the pitch. You see how I just sprint at him here with Cancelo? I know that the way this guy plays, he's going to mess up. Once again, look, just sprint at him with N'Golo Kante. Look, when you press, your opponent messes up, okay? So, my biggest advice is try and press. Look, you see how aggressive I am in my defense? Look, we're full it. Quickly switch to Rashford. Bang, win the ball back. And the thing that I like about this as well, when you win the ball in this situation... And uh, Hullet in here is in the best position to press. So I just run at Mendy kind of thing. I'm holding Jockey as well that you guys won't see. But I'm holding Jockey. So in this situation, I've cut the passing lane. And I'm closing down Mendy at the same time. Which is a big key point of my defending. The way I like to defend, okay, is here. I'm cutting the passing lane off to... Um, I don't know who this player is here. But his Mendy's on the ball, right? He wants to pass that ball here. So I cut the passing lane off while closing down at an angle to close down Mendy at the same time. Which is why then he completely messes up. But this is going a little bit more in depth. And then as soon as... This is why I like to high press, okay? Because as soon as you win the ball here with Rashford... You're in a three, you're on a one, two, three, four, five. You're on a five on one, two, three, four. You're on a five on four situation. So you're going to, in this situation, you need to be on to a winner. Now, in this situation, easy, if he crosses from there, there's nothing on. So you need to anticipate what this guy's doing. So is he going to try and aggressively attack my goal? So I just need to jockey again, sprint jockey, which is holding LT and the sprint button at the same time on your Xbox controller for me. Sprint jockey. He's going to cut back because there's nothing on going in the box. Bang, win the ball. Now, in this situation... Um, in this situation, okay, his Gucci has already took the touch towards... Um, he's already took the touch towards, like, that right-hand side. So, you want to talk about... He's always going to go there, but Hullet's there, okay? So, you see how Hullet's already there? So, he can only really go... You see where my mouse is? He can only really go here, really. So, you want to manually overcommit to that side because if he, he's already took the touch that side, okay? Look, bang. You're on to a winner. But the thing is, you need to identify... Also, a key term in defending as well is identifying a threat... Before the game even starts. Now, you're going into the weekend league here. You see this guy's team. You know the threat straight away. And Lucas Moore is okay, so he's not really a threat. But the threat is Prime Dalgleish. That little rat, Ben Yedda. <laughs> Absolute rat of a player. Dalgleish, Prime, Ben Yedda, player of the month from Neymar. They are the players that are going to cause you the most issues. So, you need to identify them as the threat before the game starts. And remember, Dalgleish, Ben Yedda, Neymar, they've all got five-star weak foot. So, all of their left foots are just as good as their right foot. Does that make sense? Now, you see here, 
There's going to be a long pause in this bit because the only pass open is into the middle towards Vidal. So knowing you need to right switch to Kante and identify that threat straight away. Okay, so right stick towards Kante. Just flick it into the direction of Angola Kante. The only threat of a pass on here is towards Vidal. So you want to manually think right straight away. You know how I like to play? Look, very aggressive. You need to bank on him. Just sprint at him. Just sprint at him holding that L2. You see here, he's running down the line. You just want to, again, you see how I'm jockeying with Rio and holding a uh, second man press with Rio. But you see how aggressive I am. You see how close I like to get to the uh, player with the ball. I like to be very aggressive. Here, I'm just cutting, just patrolling with N'Golo Kante. Just saying, you know, if you can break me down, do it. And then, obviously, AI will it well, once again. Intercept it. You don't need Hullet to intercept that, by the way. Like, normal Moose's Azoko is, like... It's still insane. Now, here, in terms of composure, talk about composure and then discuss with options. Yeah. So, in this situation right here, pass. you don't want to pass the ball back to Van der Sar, okay? You want to take your time. And but The biggest thing I can say with defending is try and stay as composed as you possibly can. Don't rush the pass back to Van der Sar. If you pass the ball back to Van der Sar here, it would mess up. So, stay composed and also just... If you want in this situation, just clear the ball out for a corner, but YOLO. But I like to stay as nice and composed as I possibly can. So in this situation, I probably did a ball roll or just, yeah. Here, I'll pass it out to Cancelo and bang. You see how when you pass it out and you stay composed, you can kind of patrol what you want to do. But here, the this is a sticky situation, I call, right? He's got a good angle here with Dalglees to pass the ball to Ben Yedder. You can manually switch to Rio if you want to in this situation. I say Rio because that's who I'm using. In this situation, you can manually switch to your uh, centre-back if you want to, to manually cover this run. But trust me, the AI will manually tr track the run anyway. So in this situation here, I'm going to guess and say that I just sprinted back with Hullet. I'm going to guess and say that because that's probably what I would have done. In this situation, which is what happens. Because the pass isn't on because the AI covers the passing lanes so, so good. Now, in this little clip here, I want to talk about composure yet again. You see how many times I don't win the ball back, okay? So, here's one, two, three. So, I tackle him three times, okay? And I still don't have the ball. So, you want to stay composed, okay? Still holding jockey, still patrolling. The danger is he wants to cut back with Neymar and bang, John's a winner. See how staying composed and not getting triggered is a big thing. Now, a recap just in general in terms of an overall point. Identify threats early, even in the loading screen. See his team, see the threats that they have. Identify an opponent's playstyle. People play very similar styles of FIFA, okay, YouTube. So, whether it be... They play, they always cut down the, they always run down the line. If you see him run down the line twice, you know that that's his preferred style of play. So you know he's going to want to play down the line a lot, okay? Decide early what you will do to it and counter and win the ball. So decide early if you want to commit or don't commit. Decide early because when you decide early, you put your opponent under pressure and force him into making mistakes. And be ready to adapt to anything that your opponent throws at you. He won't always run down the line, okay? Sometimes you'll run down the line and do a McGeady spin if he's a good player. Sometimes you'll run down the line, ball roll out and pass it back to his left back. As long as you stay composed, you'll be onto a winner. I 100% mean that. Like, composure is the key thing in defending and anticipating early what your opponent is going to want to do. That would be my biggest advice to you. Now, guys, if you did enjoy this video... Oh, wait, we've got one more. When you win the ball back, stay switched on until you pass the ball out of danger. That is a big thing. A lot of people will mess up passing the ball out of the defense. Stay switched on until it's out of danger. Now, if you did enjoy this video, guys, please hit that like and a subscribe button. It's my first ever, like, in-depth tutorial kind of thing. Wait there, what is going on here? But, yeah, I'll see you next time. But, yeah, it's my first ever, like, in-depth tutorial kind of thing. So, because of that... I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoy these type of videos anyway. Because I'm going to be doing like an in-depth attacking tutorial for next week as well. But let me know what you guys think. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button if you aren't already. Because we're close to 2,000. We're close to 2K. And I'll see you next time. Peace.